Now let's do a deeper dive on what exactly can be found inside the configuration address space. As already stated, it's 256 bytes and it is required, so every PCIe device must implement it. The first 40 bytes are going to be a standardized header and the remaining bytes are all just vendor dependent information. So let's drill deeper on that config space header. Ah yes, mother flippin' data structures. That's right, flippin' because I don't want to deal with YouTube content moderation. But while we're here, flip! All right, so first, 40 bytes, enhance header, rotate zero degrees. So the first thing I would point out is this header type field because all of this information is going to depend on the header type field. So if it is type zero, it's a general device and that's usually what we care about, but there are special types one and two for PCI to PCI bridges and card bus bridges, and we don't really care about those most of the time. Now this first 16 bytes is what's actually required required, and the rest of it is optional. So a vendor doesn't actually have to have anything special in the rest of these, but if they do have something there, then it needs to conform to this outlined specification. Remember, this is not yet the vendor implementation dependent space. That comes after the first hex 40 bytes. So if they're using something here, it has to be used the way that it's outlined. And we'll talk about some of them, like the base address registers, later on. Now let's enhance the header header and rotate zero degrees. Now just a quick cautionary note, because these data structures are from the PCI SIG, they are not shown the way that you would typically expect based on Intel manuals. So the low addresses are high and the high addresses are low, and the least significant bits are to the right as you would expect. So this would be byte zero, this would be byte one, two, and three. So just keep that in mind that this is perhaps upside down from what you might expect if this was just an Intel document. So under most circumstances, you can actually identify a PCI device by just reading the first two fields, the vendor ID and device ID. Now the vendor ID is set by the manufacturer. It's actually allocated by the PCI SIG so that they can you know, say this vendor is different from that one. And Intel happens to have 8086. Next up is the device ID and the particular vendor sets a device ID for whatever PCI device they're talking about. So it's the second field that you were actually looking at before when you were looking up the device ID for your memory controller or your LPC device you would have seen that the vendor ID was always 8086 because that's just Intel, and the device ID was whatever Intel set it to for that particular memory controller or LPC device. So even though we didn't understand it at the time, we were looking at PCI config address space, we were looking at a standardized header header within the first 40 bytes, within the first 16 bytes of the first 40 bytes, and this is all specified by the PCI special interests group. Now, sometimes you also need to have the revision ID, so it could be a device with some particular revision, and maybe the vendor wants to make a distinction between you know, slight changes to the way that the hardware works based on that. And there's also a class code which can speak about the generic functionality of a particular device, saying, you know, I'm a network card, I'm a graphics card, and that kind of thing. And then there's also the header type, which as we said before, defines how the overall hex 40 of information at the beginning of the configuration address space works. And the most significant bit of that field is supposed to specify whether this is a multi-function device, meaning that it has function zero, function one, etc. I've seen multi-function devices that don't actually have that set though. Now, just as an aside, even if you didn't have read write everything installed on a particular Windows system, it is possible to see how Windows uses these PCI device IDs. If you go to the device manager and you eventually select on something and select the details and the hardware IDs, you can see right here that it says PCIe, Ven 8086, that would be the vendor ID, Dev, that would be the device ID, subsystem, and the revision. Down here then it shows the CC, which would be the class code. 